Hello, my name is Derek Belka. I'm an environmental engineer and PhD, and PhD student conducting research for the Center for Water and the Environment, which is part of the Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering Department at the University of New Mexico. Here at the center, we conduct a lot of different kinds of research on water. Some of us work with rivers, snow, water from storms, and aquifers to better understand how different contaminants like sediment, nitrogen, phosphorus, and even uranium move naturally in our environment to affect the cleanliness of our water and the quantity available to us for use. Others of us work on figuring out better ways to treat the water before it makes it to your home or back into the environment so that you don't get sick and we don't ruin the natural ecosystems that are so important to our continued survival on this planet. My research is in the exciting world of what happens to the water after you've used it and sent it down your drain. Some people call this water sewage, but we environmental engineers prefer the term wastewater, even though calling it wastewater is not really correct since it isn't wasted. Instead, Environmental engineers design treatment systems that use a combination of biological, chemical, and physical processes to reduce the negative impacts of sending wastewater back into natural waters and reduce the likelihood that anyone who comes in contact with it will become sick. We call the places where this treatment occurs water resource recovery facilities or water reclamation facilities, although some people still use the old school names, wastewater treatment plants, or even sewage treatment plants. Again, I don't really like those names. If you don't have a septic tank, you likely send your wastewater through a series of underground pipes to one of these treatment facilities. One of the big ways we can damage the environment is by discharging too much phosphorus from these treatment facilities back into our lakes and rivers. Since the water you send down the drain has a lot more phosphorus in it than most lakes and rivers can handle. Ever seen a big green slimy chunk of algae growing in a body of water? Or maybe you've seen something about the Gulf of Mexico dead zone in the news. These are the kinds of things that can happen if there is too much phosphorus in the water we send back into the environment. Fortunately, we environmental engineers can design our water resource recovery facilities to grow a special type of bacteria that like to store up a lot of extra phosphorus. This container next to me, with all the connected hoses and pumps, was designed to imitate a full-size water resource recovery facility treatment process that grows those special phosphorus-loving bacteria. I'll be using this reactor and others like it to study some of the ways those bacteria compete with each other for food in these processes. Refining our understanding of this biological phosphorus removal process will help us improve our designs to more effectively and efficiently remove phosphorus so that we can achieve the best possible treatment at the lowest possible cost. Thanks for watching today, and I hope you have a great day.